Hello folks, Jason Cressman of JC's Bees, and today I want to discuss the Broodminder. If you've followed me for very long at all, you've probably seen my past videos on the Broodminder. And if not, I'm going to give you a brief description on what the Broodminder is. The Broodminder is a temperature, humidity, and hive scale device that sync to your Bluetooth devices, such as your phone or your, your iPad or or whatever it may be, your tablet. Just a few weeks ago, we had our Black Locust Honey Flow. And that was about the week of the 17th of May. During this uh, nectar flow here in Ohio, which is one of our best producing crops for honey, um, you, normally it's, it's my, what I've noticed, is that we normally get lots of rain that week and the bees aren't able to take full advantage of the nectar flow. Well, this year things were different. We had beautiful weather, beautiful weather, and we had plenty of rain up till they started to bloom. So we had lots of blooms. It's, it was definitely one of the best nectar flows I've ever seen in my 10 years of beekeeping anyway. On May 17th, I decided to sync my brood minder with my, I, uh, with my Android phone and uh, just see what the hive weight was. So at 9.35, I synced my device and got a reading of 173.9. What I wanted to do was see how much nectar the bees could bring back in one day's time with such a great flow. That evening at 8.52 p.m. I went back out to the hive and I resynced just to see how much weight we had gained. I was amazed we gained seven pounds. I got a reading of 180. Point nine. We gained exactly seven pounds in one day. That's, that's amazing. That is amazing. So if I take that average and figure all of my colonies, all of my honey producing colonies, brought in roughly seven pounds in a day, that's unreal. If you have 10 colonies, just 10 honey colonies, that's 70 pounds of honey in one day, folks. That is just unreal. So that's a pretty cool feature about the hive scale. You're able to calculate your information, see all the readings right there in front of you. You can go to the beekeeping.io site, see a graph that shows where the weight actually went up and where it's went down, where they've aided over time. But I was really impressed how well the bees did in that one day. Um, I just seen a post on uh, Facebook that Broodminder shared the you could actually watch the weight drop when a, when the colony swarmed. I thought that was pretty interesting. It dropped a couple pounds all in a day's, well, all within a few minutes' time, um, which shows the colony is swarming. A whole bunch of weight just left. Um, that would be the only way that much weight could leave is by swarming. Surely ain't going to eat a couple pounds of honey in a couple minutes. So another thing I'd like to do today in my video this particular hive temperature device um, needs a battery chain. I've never changed a battery in one of these, just like a lot of you probably, so I thought I'd bring you in a little closer. We dissect this thing and put a new battery in it. Okay, so basically have to pop these little tabs out. You see them there. There's one tab there and a tab up there. That one didn't seem to be locked very well. Either way, right there's our battery. We'll pop out the old one. And we'll pop in. A brand spanking new one and close it back up. Putting that tab back down in there, that one in there. So there we go. Brand new battery. Now I can throw that back in the hive. So that was pretty simple. So I just thought I'd share a little bit of an update on the Broodminder. Um, it's working out very well. This time of year, I'm not really paying a whole lot of uh, attention to the temperature in the hive. Um, 
but I guess I should be. So, thanks for watching. I hope you like this short update video on the Broodminder. And if so, you'll give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. That will help boost this video in YouTube search ranking and make my video suggested a little bit more often. So I'd appreciate that. And uh, thank you. Thanks again for watching.